This is Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Welcome back to Inside the Wolf's Den with your hosts, Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. How are you, Sean? Doing good. It's been, uh, we came off a of vacation, but it didn't feel like a vacation, but uh, <laughs> um, that's a whole other conversation. But I mean, we, uh, it's, I'm, I'm good. We're, uh, we're trending in the right direction. And so that's kind of what we're going to talk yeah, about Yeah, we're right? going to have a little bit of a mindset episode today, right? Because... Yeah. When you feel like nothing's going right, and I mean, all of us, I don't, I don't care who you are, you're going to experience hard times in your life. Right. And for entrepreneurs, it seems like that's... It More can, frequent. Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. And so the key is like, how do you bounce back? Um, you know, and so I think we can kind of go through some tips on how we bounce back or what are some things because oftentimes I think that people don't talk about that. They think, okay, yeah, get up, you know, and start, you know, fighting back, just get back up. But how do you get back up? That's very true. So, and just know (laughs) all today (laughs) we're speaking to ourselves. So right now, you know, everything that Joan is yelling out and saying and all that, it's, it's, we're talking to ourselves Mm -hmm. right now and we, everybody needs a pep talk every once in a while. So, we're trying to give ourselves a pep talk at the same time as, as hopefully adding value to you, all of you. So, cause it will happen. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we, you know, it, it there's change in, in our organization and, and stuff that a lot of times you can't control. And uh, most of the time it's, it's stuff you can't control. So number one, how do you handle it? How do you handle the adversity? Um, and then like Joni said, how do you bounce back? Yeah. And so it, for us, like, I mean, I think the last couple of weeks we were a little down, you know, like, golly, we work so hard at, at certain things in our business and kind of just let down. And, mm-hmm. uh, and it really brought us down and we're like questioned a lot of things and you do a lot of soul searching and like, yeah. why am I doing what I'm doing? And, um, you know, what, what, why am I putting up with so much stress and adversity and, and what's it all for? And so a lot of it comes back to your why again and why why do you do what you do well shout out to steve rosenberg <laughs> um, but uh your why but the uh and then once you find that why and, and why you're doing what you're doing what it's all for is how do you change that mindset how do you shift back into mm-hmm. okay i can't control a lot of the circumstances that happened i right. can't control you know what's happened in the past i can only focus on moving forward and what I can do going forward. Absolutely. I think mindset is key. I think when you think about, you know, focus on the positive and what is going right right now, right? Instead of focusing on the negative. And I think oftentimes all of us have that where we like, we feel like, oh, the world is falling apart and, you know, nothing's going right. Well, yeah, nothing is going to go right if you think that way. So changing that mindset and changing that narrative, right? Um, also, and, and a lot of times it's not when you're going through it. I know you can't you you can't see this, and I and I've been there. Um, majority of the time, it's not as bad as you really think. Or the yeah. once you get through and, it, you're like, well, that that wasn't that that was bad, but it wasn't that. And bad. And time as as, will heal yeah. eventually, right? Correct. And so, like one thing that I think is helpful for me, and I think it's helpful for you, is like number one, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing, and take that time to, okay, why is this happening, right? Mm-hmm. And really kind of think through things before mm-hmm. you act. Correct. Right? Don't just over, or don't react or a knee-jerk reaction. Right, right. Um, and, and something that I think really helped us um, this week was, uh, so it's a number, it goes back to who you surround yourself with, right? Mm-hmm. And so that always is a key is who are you surrounding yourself with, especially when you're going through times like that. And so, Joni and I were very fortunate to, um, and it was random. It was, it was an introduction from somebody. Um, they, it was, we were jumping on a call, not quite sure what the other person did. We had a little bit of info on them. We knew, um, there was an introduction, what we did, and we thought it was some uh, synergy between us. So I thought I was really jumping on like a synergy yeah, call. Like, and what so I was like, why are we actually on this call today? I was like, you just never know, right? Yeah. Like just making that connection, you just it, get one idea yeah. or just one thing from this individual. I mean, that yeah. could be game changer. Correct. And in and, and this particular individual, we jumped on the call and it was like, it was, <laughs> it's probably God inter- intervention to be honest with you, but it was, um, he was like, 
it was like he, we were on a coach. I really felt like I was on a coaching call. With somebody. <laughs> yeah. I, that's what it felt like. I thought I was like, wait a minute, did I hire this guy or did what happened? But I was like on a coaching call and, and he was totally taking his time out of his day. He was packing for a trip. And, and so like it was all the clear blue, but he was like, he's been where we were and mm -hmm. he's been, um, and he's accomplished a lot, some bigger things than we have. And so like, he was just like going down into the weeds of like, okay guys, here's where you are. You're really close. Here's what you need to do. And like, he just laid out and he's like, I'm going to give you the five pillars. And he just went down these pillars and just like, I mean, it was like I was in a coaching call. Like he had gone through this several times. And then he was, and then, and then it went into the mindset. He was like, you know what? Like you're getting in your own way. Like mm -hmm. quit, quit holding over your shoulder, like bending your shoulders, quit having your head down. Stand up stand when you talk. Yeah. Stand up. Have some energy and let's go Have do passion. this. <laughs> and, so was, and so then it got motivational too at the same time. And so, I mean, we were just, but it was, it was the kick in that rear that we needed at yeah. that time. And that's sometimes that's all we need. And that's why it's so crucial to get involved in these masterminds, to get involved with people, surround yourself with positive people, people that are going to get you to that next level. Because you know what, when things go wrong and they will, you're going to need these people to lift you up. Correct. And then we had a, an awesome uh, Jason Medley from the Collective Genius last week. Mm -hmm. If you heard that episode, if you didn't, go back and rewatch it. But the Collective Genius, we got a ton of those type of oh, relationships. Oh, absolutely. Over, yeah. And, and, and it's can, people that we call on a daily basis. I'm struggling mm -hmm. with something. I still call people from that organization. And so uh, while we were away and, and out of town, you know, I had three calls with, with members of the Collective Genius that just talking about, What's going on in the market? What are you doing? What connections are you working with? And those are and, lifelong relationships. Correct. And so, and it, it was the beautiful part is even while I was gone, we started a new connection with somebody I've never worked with. They already sold a house for us. All all this took place while mm -hmm. we were out of town, but it was all goes back to the people you surround yourself with. And I think joining a mastermind and being a part of some, but again, it's just who, Joni has been very, very good at relationship building. And sometimes I, we question her and like, why are you doing this for this individual? Why are you, why are you going out of your way so far for this individual to do all these things? And it's like, and, 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 you know, she usually like, cause this is about relationships. Yeah. It's about building relationships with people. And that's, and I think they, it's key. Yeah. And, and, and it comes back full circle. Mm -hmm. So like, because a lot, Joni's done a lot for this one individual that introduced us um, to this guy that gave us a, an ass kicking. Um, but it was it was neat to see that like you know we needed it at that moment mm -hmm. and it was just because of relationships yeah. that you built over the years so it's kind of special yeah was, yeah go ahead you know the other thing i wanted to make um point is look for opportunities in bad events right like you know maybe losing a key employee like that could be an opportunity for you to get stronger as a leader right mm -hmm. you to connect deeper at a deeper level with your team correct right and i think yeah that, that's stuff that we've learned that and learning right now and we're mm -hmm. working through it is like you yeah there's there's things that maybe you were too detached and you can mm -hmm. get back in and reinforce some things you can build relationships because you know and so when yeah I, okay so going back i <laughs> i hate change and i'm a i i fight change in a lot of circum in a lot of ways and it's not good but when and a lot of times i'm forced to change because mm -hmm. i can't control it right um but uh changes it, it, you, i look at it wrong and i look at it with the wrong lens, through the wrong lenses. And I need to look at it like, hey, this change that we're going through is because I, I can learn something. There's mm -hmm. an opportunity. There's an here. opportunity. And so, you know, even through some of the difficult things we've gone over the last couple of weeks or last month, we've, it's been a great, it's like, okay, hey, we needed that. We needed that challenges. We needed those things because we had to make changes. We had to do yeah. some things that needed to, to evolve for us to be number one, better people, but then our company to be mm -hmm. a better company and a stronger company. We needed that to happen to get, to make right. those changes and force us to take action and for, force us to, to evolve. And, and main, the biggest thing is take action. Take action. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And one of our core values is we appreciate challenges and the results of overcoming yeah. those challenges, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of hearing it though. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but that, that's who we are. So, yeah. so you know, and, we're going to do with less challenges. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned focus on what you can control, right? Don't yeah. focus on the nonsense stuff. Focus on what you can control right now. Correct. Um, I know you see made a note there. Uh, it's a jump Joni does. Um, and, or you mentioned a couple of things. One you do and probably one I do. <laughs> right. So Joni says, uh, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're, uh, um, 
you know, going through stuff and, and we're talking a lot about how do you rebound out of a difficult right. situation or how do you rebound, bounce back, bounce back when you're down and, you know, and, and I suffer a little bit from, I can get like depressed pretty quickly or easily. Well, I don't know if it's depression, it's anxiety too. Anxiety you know? and just down and just like questioning myself, mm-hmm. questioning. And then so, uh, but how to bounce back. Yeah. A lot of times, number one is what's really worked well for us over the last year is walks. Mm-hmm. Just going on a, just a 30 or 60 minute walk. Just yeah, not, just, not, yeah. not running, not, not just a walk. It yeah. helps you like getting outside just helps you just clear your mind. Right. Calms um, your nerves and it just, it's, it's good for you. It's healthy for you, mm-hmm. but it just, um, but another thing that probably counteracts the, uh, just do something you love and do, or, or, <laughs> like or, eat ice cream. <laughs> yeah, eat ice cream. <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, you know, we, we, uh, bought a dog, which I shouldn't have done, but we, and, and Joni though, that dog brings so much joy to Joni. Yep. So like when you're down, you can grab that dog and it just lights up your day. Uh, yeah. yeah cuddle so. with the dog. And I'm good. I'm Never good understood go. <laughs> that about dog lovers, but, uh, it does work. And, uh, a dog can be a, a, a woman's or a man's best friend. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but then, and, and then, like you said, uh, journal, write down, uh, meditation, I think it just, all those help re clear your mind, refocus, mm-hmm. reset your mindset. Um, think about the positive things, do positive affirmations. And, uh, and it's, it, trust me guys, this, these are all things that we're just talking about for ourselves, but, and it's hard when you're, when you're in that state. Yeah. And I time. think that's, that's key. Like. You know, think about the things that you are grateful for, right? Mm. Write down those things. Um, automatically, you're going to start thinking positive just by writing those down. Correct. So I hope that helps. I hope it gives you guys a little hope uh, today. And, and I know it was a short podcast, but we just wanted to, we always try to be as vulnerable as we can on the show and, and share what we're going through and how we're overcoming things. Because I think it relates to others because I think we're not the only ones going through Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Until then, we'll see you all next week. We've got some um, awesome guests lined up that uh, I think you guys are going to really enjoy over the next quarter. So uh, we're excited about that. And uh, we hope everybody has a wonderful, had a wonderful summer. And and, uh, I know our kids are starting, so I'm sure a lot of people are getting back into school season and stuff. So we got a cool lineup scheduled and, and we're excited about the podcast for the rest of this year. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you next time. You've been listening to Inside the Wolf's Den, an entrepreneurial journey with Sean and Joni Wolfswinkle. Tons of entrepreneurial podcasts are out there talking. Talk, talk, talking. But Joni and Sean are living it every single day. Their portfolio now includes many franchises and medium-sized businesses. We talk about the trials and motivators of successfully running a business. Join us again soon for another podcast. But until then, reach out on the website at InsideTheWolfsDen.com, on Facebook at InsideTheWolfsDen, on Instagram at InsideTheWolfsDen. We'll see you again soon. This is Inside the Wolf's Den. We'll see you next time.